YouTubies! So I wanted to go over a couple questions um, that you guys ask frequently and um, give you some answers and hope that it even reaches those who have the questions but haven't messaged me about wanting the answer. Um, first and foremost, the bottles that I have here on my shelf, um, these are Patron bottles. And uh, no, I didn't drink them all, but I did collect them. I used to bartend and um, the other bartenders that worked with me, we would save them. And um, yeah, sterilize them up and use them up and so I only have a few. Um, no, I don't sell them just because I only have the ones I have and um, I'm not sure how to tell anybody else to get them otherwise, you know, go in to buy some Patron and have a little party or giving it to your friends and tell them to give you the bottle back when they're done. Um, so that's pretty much that. Um, next question is, is will I be doing Wicca videos uh, as well as the herbal videos, and I absolutely will be. Um, I'll be doing a little bit of both, and not necessarily full instruction on um, Wicca, just because there's a different approach. I like to go with that, um, it's spirituality speaking as a whole. And uh, but herbal videos, uh, I will be doing a few instructions, and um, basically targeted towards people who don't have a lot of resources or money to to do to utilize a lot of resources um, and to be able to be self-sufficient and even be an herbalist of themselves um, at home without having to go out and spend a lot of money. So there's a lot of different things that I'd like to go over um, and I'm just going to be doing a bunch of short videos kind of going over each and every bit. Um, be patient with me as I live in the boonies right now. Uh, have satellite internet. It takes forever to upload a video even if it's compressed and um, still don't have always the time to go and to the coffee shop and wait for it to load. And for some reason in Washington, you get a lot of wind that likes to knock out power when I, where I live, or you get snow that knocks out power. So it seems like at least, I don't know, way too often that power is lost for no reason. Um, at least in Georgia, you had tornadoes and stuff. But anyways, don't send me a bunch of messages about why I'm in Washington. Again, personal life is off limits. I've learned my lesson to that the first time. Um, and, um... Yeah, so this is going to be stickly, stickly, strictly um, sticking to the objective at hand, and that is um, putting my perspective and opinion out there on um, approaches to Wicca and uh, being an herbalist and um, living a spiritual life and going along your spiritual journey. I'm sure sharing my experiences and hoping that it helps you and guides you along yours. Uh, so that's what I'm here to do, and um, anything further than that, and celebrity status, it's not just appealing to me. I like healing people, and I like teaching people, and that's going to be um, what I'm going to stick to. So um, those of you who uh, do message me and I don't get back to you right away, understand that I uh, do get quite a few, and if it's something that I have repetitively um, answered before, uh, it's in, to take time to write out the messages that I do. I really like to give a lot of information, and um, and it's hard to just be redundant and continually um, reply with the same thing to each and every person to make it personable. Um, I would like to reach out to every one of you, but I, it's just I'm not able to, and I really want you guys to understand that. Um, but any of the frequently asked questions that I do get, I'm going to make it a point to post it on the website or make a video explaining it or showing you how to do it. Um, and then kind of go on from there. So if I don't answer you it right away, um, know that it might be something that I get asked quite a bit. And I'm trying to find out the best way to um, answer you guys in a full way and, um, and, and put it out there for you to understand and even see if I do it in a video. Um, so that's that. Uh, next is a lot of you guys love the books that I recommend. And, um, and I love the books that I recommend. I use them all the time. Uh, but you get lost once you get it. Where do you start? Well, don't become overwhelmed. A lot of you guys uh, become overwhelmed with uh, the Solitary Witch book. Where do I begin? Um, use it as a reference guide. It's not a great front to cover, to back cover kind of reading kind of book, unless you're into that kind of thing. But it's more of like an encyclopedia. And I don't know many people who read encyclopedias front to back. Um, but use it as a reference. If there's something that you would like to do, pick something that you would like to start out with. The Wheel of the Year. Okay. A star is coming up. Um, you get to dye eggs. Um, you get to do a morning 
sunrise ritual. It doesn't have to be a formal ritual. It can just be having coffee during the sunrise, having a little bit of breakfast, um, making sure you do a little bit of meditation or thinking, and, um, and just let yourself go and feel the elements and, and be in tune and be at peace for a few minutes. Simple as that. You celebrated Astara. Put it in your journal, and then next year you can decide, wow, I would really like to do this next year, um, and add something to it. You don't have to go by the book. Books are great in getting ideas if you're stuck. Um, and you can't think of something, but you don't always have to go by the book when it comes to your spiritual practice and building your foundation. Um, on the Green Eyed Owl, I am making a point to post some things prior to each of the, the different Sabbaths that are coming up, so to give you guys a little bit of an idea of what I like to do um, and what I have made a tradition for myself, and, um, and, and maybe you can spawn off your idea of one of those, and it's a good little start for you. Um, so there's that, and then, um, let's see what we got here. A lot of you, you know, the question I just answered, where do you begin in the books? Same thing applies with the herbal books. Um, you want to make your own herbal stuff. Well, you and you don't know what herbs to purchase. Well, kind of go around and find out there's something that you like to use, whether it's for your pets. Do you like teas? Um, do you like to use tinctures? Then start small. Um, before I have posted a video on how to make a tincture, that can go for any solitary herb. If you want to do something for headaches, or you come across an herb that's something that you want to use. Oh, I really, really like rosemary. Well, okay, make a tincture out of it. Use it. Research it. Just research everything you can about that one herb. You can't tell me you don't know where to look for some information when you don't have Google. Bing it. Anything. Type in. How to make a tincture. How to, what does yarrow do? What does white willow bark do? Um, there's tons of stuff out there that if you don't have a book, but you have internet, because obviously you're watching YouTube videos, and you're getting curious, and you're wanting to build things up, you can't tell me you guys don't know how to Google. So there's stuff out there. And don't take it all from every, from one resource, because everybody's got a different approach, Everybody has a different way of doing things, and there's not everybody's way is going to fit into yours. Um, take what you see from mine. I'm not always right um, in some eyes, but I have a way of doing things and um, the ways that work for me and in my life and fall into place. And there's ways for you to do it about your same. Have the confidence to know that there's not one right way. If it's right for you, then it's right for you, and that's the way you need to take. Um, so start small. Keep a journal. And go from there. You will know where to branch off of once you feel confident in the things you do. Once you make a successful tincture. Once you use it. Once you make a herbal tea, I have a sore throat. Get some licorice together. Make an herbal infusion. Drink it. Put some honey in it. And do it a few times. See if it works for you. And then you can go on adding from there. Wow, I really like teas. Well, then you can know that you might like to make teas. Um, if it's something spiritual that you want to do but you don't have a bunch of tools to make up um, and, or, or money to be able to go buy things. Go out and collect stuff. Collect sticks, collect pine cones, collect rocks. I don't know a little kid that has never collected anything, a rock. Go back to your roots. Collect things that you're drawn to. You may keep them for a lifetime. You may only keep them and use them once or twice or for a little while. Um, but don't be scared to try different things. The only way that you're going to know what works for you, besides hearing what you're, all these different ideas, is to utilize them. Do something. If you don't like it, throw it out. Try something else. Um, it's a try and error basis. Um, and nobody can tell you how to do it and what's going to work in your lifestyle, in your schedule, and what feels right and what you connect with the most. When dogs lick themselves like crazy, it drives me nuts. Just saying. Um, <laughs> anyways, so that's pretty much that for now. Um, I'm going to be posting up a, a, a bunch of videos here, well, basically one every day, um, doing some small things and going over these questions, but those are those for now because I've gotten a bunch of those. And, um, it's better for me to go anyway. So you guys take care, and I will see you very, very soon. Get your seeds ready, because any seeds that you're going to want to be planting, because I will be doing on how to germinate and begin your seeds for your garden, um, simple or not. So get some seeds. That's your task for now.